Well, for years, doctors have advised patients to take a daily low-dose aspirin or fish oil supplement to help prevent heart attacks and strokes, but new research says they may not be as effective as we once thought. Dr. Bill Cassianis is president of the Minneapolis Heart Institute at Abbott Northwestern, and he joins us now to explain. This is going to bum some people out because I know there's a lot of people out there that probably very regularly take a low-dose aspirin or take fish oil supplements thinking they're preventing a heart attack. Well, thanks for having me, Rena. And um, I don't think they should be bummed out. I think there's <laughs> good. a really good role for aspirin, uh, especially in people who've ha already had a heart attack. It's a mainstay of the treatment to prevent a second heart attack. And it's certainly a mainstay of treatment when people are having an actual heart attack at the time. But this research looks at, can aspirin prevent the first heart attack? Okay, that's different. It's different. Yeah. And so re this research, three good studies done, um, that have just published, look at aspirin versus placebo or sugar pill and did, was there a difference in preventing the first heart attack in certain groups of people and it looks like there wasn't really much of a difference. Um, and in fact, aspirin can cause some bleeding hmm. and so we have to watch that it doesn't offset the benefits of aspirin at all. And you found that fish oil probably not helpful in any way, at least not in a supplement form. Yeah, we know that fish in general is really good for you and so tuna and salmon and having fish in your diet is really good for a heart healthy diet. But putting it in a pill form, I don't think we've gotten the hang of how to do that and replicate what fish can do it for us in a diet. So still good to have it in your balanced, in your balanced diet? Absolutely, absolutely. So what can people do if they're trying to prevent that first heart attack? Yeah, uh, the research shows and these studies confirm that the best thing to do is watch your diet. Mm -hmm. uh, so watch your weight, exercise, uh, if you have high cholesterol, treat the high cholesterol. If you have high blood pressure, treat high blood pressure. These studies confirm that those are the best approaches. And of course, quit smoking if you're smoking. And uh, as always, talk to your doctor, your own personal doctor, if you're trying to do something different than you've been doing before. That's correct. Regardless of these studies and what they've mm -hmm. shown, these are just one study or several studies, and it doesn't change our whole opinion on how to take care of people. People are individuals, and so if you are on aspirin or not on aspirin before you start or stop it, you should talk to your doctor and make sure it's individualized for your particular case. Right, it might be a reason that they have you doing Absolutely. That. Doctor, thank you so very much for being here. Thank we you, really Rena. appreciate it's really it. It's a pleasure. We do have a link to more information and a link to Abbott Northwestern. You can find that on care11.com.